everybody, I'm excited. As always, we're playing some Repentance. We got a little meme rich, I would say, during the uh, the last few episodes where we tried to be, uh, you know, the the world's zaniest Bloody Mary player. Let's just, you know, act like we've been there before. We're gonna play as Judas. We're gonna get some HP upgrades. We're gonna try to steamroll the alt path, like I know I'm capable of. <laughs> A little spooky. A little spooky. Either way. Dude, I know, like, I'm, I'm setting up comedic timing right now. But now that I'm not, like, room one, when you're not on the alt path, it seems like I'm in easy mode. Even though I have one HP. <laughs> I would rather have, like, one HP on the non-alt floor then have like 12 HP on the first alt floor. Like, it's too much. Now, that being said, the shot speed of the new enemies, it, it can be a little spicy uh, time to time. Did he unlock Bethany yet? Oh, you, you sweet summer child. <laughs> Not only have I unlocked Bethany, but I've unlocked uh, the real uh, Gigabrain character. And, or should I say characters? <laughs> and I've gotten uh, a little bit further down the unlock tree as well, I might add. So this is a, a very uh, tough choice here, to be honest with you. I don't know, man. What do you think about... Uh, what do you think about Book of Belial versus Jar of Flies? Well, Book of Belial plus seven cents worth is versus Jar of Flies. I'm a Jar man, I think, personally. Scales better with your damage. It's a set it and forget it type of item. I'm, I'm a fan. Hmm. Well, um, Black Hole, I don't love. However, we can at least use it to do that. That's a pretty good return on your investment. That's not bad either, honestly. This is a pretty good... Uh, Yo, th this is a tuning fork, man. You know what it looks like? It looks like the pinch emoji. What are you trying to say, Edmund? What are you trying to say? What I've learned about Isaac so far is... Uh, uh, in Repentance, you gotta basically take every available advantage that you can get. You know, in Afterbirth Plus, I was used to just bantering. Oh, you know, I've never been to a Long John Silver's before, he said for the 30th time. I'd love to go sometime, even though I heard they weren't even that good to begin with. Um, now I've got to, like, freaking fixate on every single possible advantage, because you never know. You need, like, Mom's Knife, Brimstone, Nine Lives, Abaddon, Mob, The Void, and the other guppy items just to have a chance to, to survive for four floors. It's crazy. Those hush puppies, though? Can I can I ask you something? I don't know what a hush puppy is. I've, I've eaten a few in my day. Is it just excess batter that has then been, like, deep fried? It's just fried batter? It's fried cornmeal? I had no idea. Thank you for the, the intel. I honestly did not know. Isn't a hush puppy a slushy? Okay, I don't know if that's a Canadian thing, but you're actually right. Like, um, we do have, uh... <laughs> He's a genius! We do have a, a brand of very popular slushy called Hush Puppy. It is like a blue dog with white ears, and it's on the side of those plastic jugs with the little mixer in it that goes around like... Oh, they're called Slush Puppies! Slush Puppies, that's right. My mistake. I haven't been to a, a gas station with a slush puppy in a long time. Long time. I say no to this. <clears throat> I'm I'm all down with the deep fried stuff, man. I'm I'm with it either way. Pretty much no matter what they've deep fried, I'm down with it. As a new viewer, I desire to know your opinion on salad dressings. Um I'm uh I so here's the thing. In general, I prefer a vinegar-based salad dressing to, uh, like, a mayonnaise or sour cream-based salad dressing. But the exception there is that, like, Caesar dressing and ranch dressing, I wish they weren't, but they are. They're delicious. 
love them both. I don't get down with like the French dressing or the Russian dressing too much. Maybe on a Reuben. I, I'm gonna let. I'm gonna think about this for a moment. I'm just gonna think about this for a moment. I'm gonna let it percolate out through the old brain area. This is a tough decision because, like, I think Mysterious uh, Multi-Dimensional Baby is actually like pretty good. Uh, but the downside is that what the other item could be anything. <laughs> That's my opinion on salad dressing. Probably not as divisive as, as you would have thought, but um, that's, that's what I got. And that's it. Let love it or hate it, you watched. That's all you could do. I'm pro ranch. I know like a, a lot of people are anti ranch. I, I would first point out that uh, I don't know how accurate the caricature is that like if you live uh you know let's say like below the state of illinois 90 percent of your meals contain a component of ranch dressing uh i we don't have that same let's go we don't have that same kind of uh prevalence of it here so i i get ranch quite rarely and i enjoy it a great deal I like ranch flavored things as well, but I, I don't get it too much. So like that's maybe that's why I like it. Now we got to strike a balance here. I'm gonna say four tiers uh, per second is good enough, because I, I really wanted to uh, keep our HP as high as possible as well. You get a tiers upgrade every time you you, you lose a bone heart with brittle bones. So I I, I took some damage, but I, I will admit. I, I respect HP in this as this character as well. Well, not as this character, just in general. Okay, I'll play you one time. What do you think about weighted blankets? We need the speed, unfortunately. Weighted blankets? I don't have one. Um, but we got a a weighted um, sleep sack for our baby, and she's been sleeping like a freaking dream. It's beautiful. How dare you? After everything we've been through. I got nothing against uh, a weighted blanket, you know? Why not? Not hurting anybody. I mean, I, I sleep with earbuds in, which is really kind of like having a weighted blanket, uh, you know, for your, uh, for your mind. Like, for your brain. Uh, okay, let's... Th this is a little spicy, but also... I'm willing to I'm willing to go a little hard here. And then you know what? I think I will take trash PhD. Worse pills and evil up. Lock down. But lock down would also give us a damage up, right? Yeah. Go down to I'm I got no problem with that. That gives us a demon heart. Then let's sacrifice a little bit more health to get something out of this guy, maybe. Oh ho ho ho! Oh ho ho! Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, I don't know. This is this is mighty interesting. Let's put it that way. Losing the the jar of flies is something. It's not necessarily amazing, but constantly getting. I mean, let me put it this way. I'll go luck down all day. That doesn't bother me in the slightest. <laughs> to to get a damage upgrade at the cost of my luck, no concerns. And then to use, uh, like, our our pseudo-trash pills will become demon hearts. Bro, I mean, it would be mighty nice. Like, we would probably be able to get, uh, we'd probably be able to win with that. I'm sorry to say that I think it has to be done, even though it ruins our, our the synergy we literally just got. It, it kind of has to be taken to give us a chance to win. It's not anti-Zane, and I'll tell you why. We're still gonna get pills no matter what. They, they spawn constantly, whether we want them or not. And then secondarily, the alt path is freaking hard, man. Getting some some demon hearts is, is extremely uh, prudent. 
It only gives half demon hearts now, or half spirit hearts. Okay, that's a ripoff. I'd like to speak to the manager. Oh, dude, Freezer Baby is sick. Anyway, I still think it's positive. You know, you, you can't judge something based on, you know, the nerf, necessarily. You gotta judge it based on its impact. I think its impact, even if it only gives us half a heart, I think is, uh, is quite valuable. Freezer Baby is incredible, too. Like, th this is a, a darn good setup. We gotta save two bombs. I don't know what you do, so I need you to die. Because I think you create, like, a cloud, and when that cloud explodes, like... Everything inside of the vapor explodes as well. So I'm just gonna try to keep you at a distance. What the heck is that? Your elbow? YouTube? We like it, okay? It's a luck upgrade? Okay, look at that, look at that, we're back. <laughs> we can actually pick up! Some pills from this point onwards. Anyway, minus one luck, we're pogged up. How do you feel about mayonnaise? Dude, can I tell you something? Last night I made some, like, uh, salmon shawarma. And the garlic sauce was literally just chopped. I need this. Like, minced garlic mixed with mayonnaise and lemon juice. Lem uh, mayonnaise, I don't really love that much. Then when I put the lemon juice and... Bro, my alt path. That's that's fine. We'll just do it next floor. Yeah. We'll do it next floor. Um, when I just think about mayonnaise by itself, I'm like, eh, whatever. But when you add garlic and, and lemon juice to it, I was like, wait a minute. This is actually delicious. You didn't even go to the mirror dimension. Here we go again. That's what I get, man. That's what I get. I, I try to bring banter to the to the equation. That's what I get. Thanks for asking me the questions, chat. Trying to be entertained. I really appreciate it. Hold on, hold on. This is this is one you just gotta do. Thank you. Mods, you're so good! How did you know we like a hundred messages came in? And you knew exactly which one I was about to hit with the 24 hour ban permanent. Okay, let's live here. Let's live. Yeah, I thank you. Apology accepted for asking about the mayonnaise. There's like a lot of new stuff in the game. I, I gotta prioritize my own brain, okay? Should have used yogurt instead? You you could direct your uh Concerns to the HelloFresh Corporation. It it, I, it came with uh, mayonnaise in the in the meal prep kit. As a result, I was kind of gated by supply. No, you didn't. Come on, because yeah, like someone in chat said, I used to date a guy who washed his washed his face with mayonnaise. No, you didn't. Stop lying. Nobody like that. Go go post that on. Work, workshop that a little bit and then post it on r slash relationships. Hello, my boyfriend, uh, 27 male, washes his face with mayonnaise. I keep telling him to stop, but he refuses. He says it's good for his skin. What can I do? And then it'll get posted by the Twitter account that's like r slash reddit chips or whatever. There's no, no you didn't. Nobody, how, explain to me the origin story of how this person started washing their face with mayonnaise. I, I, because I, I can't imagine. Oil and dry skin, it could work. No. They, they make, like, lotion. It's probably cheaper to use on your face than mayonnaise to begin with. <laughs> it's like, oh, my boyfriend washes his face with gasoline, you know? Hey, it's petroleum, you know, petroleum jelly? We need, we need more than one degree of plausibility, okay? This, this didn't happen. Wait, Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance actually does that? Alright, let's explore this a little bit. Is that true? I didn't watch much of Big Ed's season. I do have to tell you, by the way, I did not, um... 
we were, we were talking about um, marriage or mortgage last night, the Netflix show where you, uh, I'm fine. Uh, well, not you, but couples choose whether or not uh, to use, like a real estate agent and a wedding planner compete to try to get a couple to choose their dream wedding over a 5% down payment on a house. Um, I, uh, I watched literally about four seconds and then I said, absolutely not. Not my brand of trash. And then, I, I literally did not get through the first couch interview. It was too much for me. And then, I watched uh, Eric Andre's prank movie, Bad Trip. And I, I thought it was enjoyable. It was my first time watching something on Netflix in um, probably three or four months. And I... I I said, you know what? This is funny. I, I I laughed out loud multiple times throughout the the movie. I would give it a a thumbs up. I enjoyed it. LOL, exactly. I give it an LOL for laughed out loud. I did not LMAO at any point. But I did... Well, no, there were a couple of... Uh, no spoilers. There might have been some times I think Kate would describe myself as having LMAO'd. What would you give it on the mouth scale? So I haven't watched a, a lot of movies recently. Um, we, if I don't see something gold here, we're going gold here. <laughs> um... I, I haven't watched that many comedies recently. I watched the uh, I watched half of the Impractical Jokers movie, and I, for a movie that's in, very surprisingly kind of similar, Bad Trip is much better. Why? My the choice of movie I watch is entirely dictated by what's on television at the time that I watch it. <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, hey, what the? Yeah, I wasn't like, so I watched uh, Eric Andre's last stand-up special. I didn't love it. I thought it, it had some funny stuff in it, but it, it there was a little, you know, it was a little up and down. But uh, the Bad Trip as a movie, I was like, this is this is a solid movie for sure. I'm trapped. Oh. We have an Easter baby today. How about that? Hello, my Easter baby. Hey. Now I know why they call it Good Friday. Could you show her the bunny? Could I show her the bunny? Oh, show show off her clothing. Okay. Look at the bunny. Look at that. What a nice baby. And there's a bunny underneath too. <laughs> this is funny. Steal this look. Yeah. Hey. Hey, baby. Okay, there you go. This is her son. Mm-hmm. She looks like she's from Stardew Valley. <laughs> I told Kate yesterday, but I took the baby for a walk. And, uh... Hold on, can I get in here? Yeah, yes. Um... After, like, ten minutes, she was just chilling. After half an hour, she was, like, asleep like this. After 45 minutes, she was asleep like, you know, like when they when they put the astronauts in like the zero G simulator and or the the G force simulator and they spin them around until they pass out. She looked like that. She would like only the harness was was keeping her up. Yeah. You like the Easter, Easter baby? It's a it's a cool looking baby, no doubt about that. 
Happy Easter, Good Friday, Happy 40th uh, day since the vernal equinox. <laughs> since Pascal's full moon, rock tinted in the room after the big room. Buddy, I'm going to need you to look at my, the amount of bombs on my person right now. Would, would you describe this as an all-cap situation right now? I will not be hit. I like this boss. I'm still... Any new boss I'm mad at... Oh, he's got his elbows out again. Any new boss I'm mad at because I don't know how to dodge them. All right, now now the all caps may return. Thank you. <laughs> if you're staying down for a minute, I'm sure Tomo's going to walk back in in a second anyway. <clears throat> but um, someone said Dan's chat has desensitized me to all chat or all caps. I I was dying in Dan's chat earlier. He played as the keeper. Oh, I really thought that would get both. But he was playing as the keeper. And he walked into one of the alt path rooms that had, uh, or item rooms, I should say, that had like a, an item and then a question mark. The item was sack of pennies. And he just like waited 45 seconds and then took the other item. And I forget, it was because he and his chat were like distracted. He was like, you know, you know, chat, what are the odds that, like, you know... It, it was something like the mayonnaise play that I just made. You know, what are the odds that, like, mayonnaise and yogurt are just the same thing with a different name? And I was the only person in chat losing my mind. I was stunned at the culture difference. I'll, I'll be, like, you know, wrist deep in banter, and, like, chat will be, like, 99% like, You left a, a coin behind 17 rooms ago! Dan basically walked into a room that was like a free win uh, as the keeper, and everybody in chat was like 100%, 100%, 100%, 0%, 80%, 75%, 80%, and I was in chat going, please, please, take the take the sack of coins, man. It'll change everything. Okay, that's that's pretty good. I can I can live with that. I was trying to get in the front seat. You're gonna have to do a little better than this. We'll take this just in case we need it. What do you think about Dan saying he could beat you in a fight? 16 months ago, he, he'd be in the hospital. Now he's probably right. I'm not in peak physical form. I think I, I I have nothing to complain about there. I think he's absolutely got it. Uh, he's got it bang on. He has a degree in fitness. Exactly. How am I supposed to compete with somebody who has a a master's degree in kinesiology? He's been working out in the library. Have you gotten the vaccine yet? Don't even get me freaking started, man. Don't even get me freaking started. We're still, and again, like it's better than we thought it would be like three months ago, but th 30 to 35 year olds in, in BC scheduled for uh, early June. So we still got a, a ways to go. I, I was laughing because I, I complained about uh, like the how slow the vaccine was coming in, which is I, I get it by the way, but I'm still gonna complain because it sucks. <laughs> I'm not saying there's any action items, but it's like I wish it was here faster in, in BC at least. But, um, but yeah, don't, they, you're doing the same thing that I was just gonna make fun of actually, where people are like, "Oh, must be nice. You might not have your vaccine, but I live in you know Brazil, and my parents don't even have their vaccine yet. My parents, and I'm like, yeah." I live in Canada. My parents don't have the vaccine yet either. We're on the same page. 
You're trying to get like weird stolen valor that you don't even understand. <laughs> That's the state of Brazil. That's the state of Canada, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. This is big. This is good. We definitely want this. I think we want Sack Dagger as well. Really, it's like America is just crushing the vaccine game right now. They, they've been playing out of their gourds. They're rising through the power rankings like crazy. There's no doubt about it. You gotta, you gotta recognize, you know, that uh, there were there were some issues with <laughs> pandemic response. I think is polite to say, um, but also like I'm watching people, you know, in Texas that don't have underlying conditions just be like, like they're they're picking their own brands. It's crazy. They're like, ah, I'm gonna wait six days and I'm gonna get the Johnson & Johnson instead of the Pfizer. And I'm like, I'll just, can you just like spit in my mouth after I, after you get it? I'll just take whatever I can get at this point. Can I just, can I just take, can I smell the vaccine before they, they shoot you up with it? Just give me like a, just a sample, just an amuse-bouche if you will. Yeah, in New York right now, is anybody over the age of 19? Dude, I mean, honestly, like, that's sick. I, am I a little mad? Yes, but I'm not mad at the people getting vaccinated. I'm, you know, I'm just mad in general. <laughs> I just want mine. The easiest way to make me genuinely happy for everybody instead of begrudgingly happy while also lamenting my own unvaccinated uh, state would be if they just gave me the vaccine. Think about think about how good that would be. It's worth it, man. I think for for the utilitarian good of the world, I should probably be next in line. Yo, this was well worth it. How fun would that be? In 10 days, 16 plus are legal in Illinois. See, that's the kind of stuff that'll turn you into the Joker, man. When you when you watch uh, teenagers getting vaccinated in America, and then also like heartwarming clips from like the San Diego Zoo where they're uh, vaccinating like pandas and stuff like that, you're like, come on. The pandas? All right, we're doing well here. How much will the vaccine change your behavior? It seems like you stay inside a lot. It'd be really nice to like let my parents see their their only granddaughter. Just just minor superficial stuff like that. It's not as important as other people who are, like, really excited for, like, patio season and, like, you know, having some pints uh, with their friends, but just just minor selfish stuff like, uh, like that. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, hold on. Balloon. What is this, a red bag? All right, let me, let me close this door real quick. Red tears when killed. I don't know how good it is, but it's worth something. But is it worth as much as Gimpy? I don't think so. Hold on, hold on. It has to be done. It's very simple. I wish you could give like a timeout message. The message is just be nice. Anyway, moving on. Ooh. I think we made the right decision on that one. Mods, are there timeout requests? Like untimeout requests? You know how there's like like real court and then there's like small claims court where it's like, oh he scratched my truck or whatever? 
There should be like small claims on ban requests. There's a use of channel points there somewhere. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Okay, let me think, let me think. This is Ash Pit 1. Ash Pit 1 means we don't have to worry about getting the minecarts on this <laughs> on this floor. We need HP though. Like HP is is precious here. If we got enough uh, red hearts, actually, Gimpy can probably stand a reasonable chance of helping us get to a win or or a reasonable facsimile of a win. Um, right now, it's not quite good enough. We don't have the red heart base to make it work. I'm calling it that that enemy that I just murdered without even seeing them there. Actually, the most annoying enemy in the game. The like. Little baby Larry Juniors or whatever. Little baby Skull X's. Can only be hurt for like, you know, one nanosecond. That hurts, man. That hurts. Good deal with the devil, though. Dude, freaking nine lives. Nine lives would slap right now. Sadly, nothing takeable. I, I wish it weren't the case. I took too much damage. Can't be done. Guppy's collar is nine lives on occasion. I suppose that's true. Could be infinite lives. You know, nine lives is nine lives, but Guppy's collar could be anything. It could even be nine lives. I want... You know what I haven't seen in a shop in a hundred years? Uh, a reroll machine. See an awful lot... This this would be amazing HP. See an awful lot of shops that contain absolutely nothing of value, but... Okay, that's big. HP now? Oh, no. <laughs> HP we should, we should remain very thankful of. It's very precious. One bomb blows up the reroll machine now? You know what? Now that I thought about it for two seconds, I actually think that that's not a horrible change. But you can, because you can just use money instead. You know, I'll, I'll admit fully, like, part of the issue with, like, the, the nerfs in the patch is that I just got too used to, like, the leverage you got from kind of abusing the... <laughs> Abusing the things that maybe were not meant to originally be like that. That's fine. We'll just... We, I mean, we want this demon judgment. Yeah, shops used to be like a, a serious engine for just dominating the game. No question there. Love golden bombs. Love to see golden bombs. What are the nerfs? Oh, there's, I mean, let me count the ways, right? A little spicy. Um, lots of, lots of items got nerfed. The, you know, shops in general got nerfed in hard mode. Drop rates uh, went, are way down in hard mode. I'm actually, and I know how this sounds, like you can't say something positive about a game without being accused of being a shill. The only kind of criticism that comes across as genuine is when you're mad. Uh, but I actually think making the game harder was a wise decision. That's what we're looking for. And the the problem is less that the game is harder and more that it was so easy for so long that like the nerfs seem unfair as a result, I think. You know, the, the culture that surrounded Isaac from Afterbirth Plus onwards was like... You know, we get used to winning 75 times in a row without even focusing on the game at all. So I think having a period where things are a little difficult makes, uh, it, it's refreshed it. 
It is like the runs are long. <laughs> Dude, but look at this. If if we were playing as Judas in Afterbirth Plus, we never would have like had the sc uh, scrape to get to where we're at right here, where we're like so excited to see a second judgment. But we can still use this to possibly get into a second secret room uh, and get like a bunch of spirit hearts out of it. We'll talk about that in a second. I mean, I think that uh, I it, it was easy to believe that Isaac didn't get that much easier, and instead it was just an unbelievable amount of experience that led to you know being a, able to win ninety to ninety five percent of runs easily. But now I'm coming to terms with the fact that I don't think that's the case. <laughs> Ah, you're absolutely right. I got two golden chests here. It's it's a little pot. Yeah, I think people will get used to it. For sure. I mean, the other thing is, you know, if you if you play on the normal path... Can I push these hearts off of here? That would be nice. If you play on the normal path... It's still harder, but it's not so much harder as to be like... Uh, like, ridiculous. That's still fine. We'll bring the, the portable slot machine into there. Um, the old path is insanely tough, but the, the other path is not so bad. Uh, just... Just relax. <laughs> just... We got, like, another... I don't know. Probably like four to five minutes on this floor before we leave. Don't save some adrenaline. We're not. This is like floor three, maybe floor four. Now that I think about it, but we. It's a marathon. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Thank God we got luck stats. I screwed it up, or maybe it's been changed. I don't know, but this, it did not work the way, uh, the way I thought it would. Why play in the cathedral? Some of you ain't been here since, uh, Afterbirth Plus, and it shows. We got so many red hearts. We're gonna get a payout here for sure. Demon Beggar no longer takes eternal hearts before red hearts. That's something I, I'm prone to believe, but I'm also gonna say that uh, old habits die hard. And also, I don't believe you. <laughs> it might be true, but we got baited a couple times over the course of Isaac so far. Uh, over the course of Repentance's release that I'm just gonna be... Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do things my own way because it... You know, I mean, it doesn't seem to offer any difference for the time being. I did see, and and it's I, I messaged Dan about it because I want I want Dan's insight. How is it that um, MLB The Show is made by Sony? It used to be a Sony exclusive. This year, it's coming out uh, on Xbox as well. Is this our? This is not our floor. Okay, but I'm good. I don't. I, the blood bank. Maybe it doesn't take the eternal hearts, but still, I'm, I don't want to risk it. It's coming out on the Xbox as well, free on Game Pass. You, you really? I, I was. Uh, I've got my PlayStation Five in my office for you know recording purposes. So I was like, I'm gonna get MLB The Show 21 for PlayStation Five because that's the console that you know. If all other things are equal, that's what I'll get it for. But now I'm like, man, maybe I gotta move my Xbox into here because it's free on Game Pass. It's crazy. I mean, it's a big get. MLB told them to release it on Xbox or you'll lose the license. 
Could they do the same thing with PC, please? If they're gonna throw their weight around? <laughs> hmm, I'm trying to think of what boss this is. We should try, we should try. What, uh, uh, flying? This is, this is new to me. And they leave behind turrets, huh? I've never seen this variant of the boss before. Yeah, the show is sick. I've blown up the, the turret? Hey, come on. At least they gave me some bombs, otherwise we, we could have been screwed here. <laughs> Though that's so good. Okay, we didn't get the deal with the devil I was looking for, but... We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Okay, now we explore. I am stoked though, but I am like, you know, as it comes out for more consoles... Like, here's the thing, <laughs> I guess. I don't mind uh, exclusivity in the sense that I guess I take it as, you know, kind of a, a necessary evil of, of competition. Um, but when it's only on two consoles and not, uh, excuse me, sci-fi, and not on PC, I'm like, come on, man. Just, if, if you're gonna, like, you know, kiss and make up, could you also do it on the PC? Like, to be honest, mostly selfishly for me, but still. Sci-Fly is a one-run? Really? You know, I'm excited to see if that ends up being the case. How the heck do I watch NL's Repentance in order? There is a way to do it. You're, you're not gonna want to hear it, though. I'm being 100% serious with you. Um... You'd have to basically <laughs> figure out what day the YouTube episode for that day was recorded on, and then also watch all of the Twitch VODs every day in chronological order. It's doable! You know, you, you could watch... If you wanted to watch in chronological order, you would watch... Uh, the first episode, the second episode, the third episode, then watch the entire uh, series of, of Twitch VODs from the first day. Then you'll watch episode four. Then you'll watch yesterday's whole Isaac VOD. Then you'll watch episode five. Then you'll watch all of today's Twitch VOD. The other thing you could do is like, don't worry about it too much. Just let it go and then Except that it's going to be hard to watch it in chronological order. While we're playing a little bit on YouTube and a lot on Twitch. And, you know, just, just pog up, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I think that's, that's the best way. There's a, a very, like, fuzzy through line between both of them as well. Like, for the most part, you're not missing too much. It's a lot of, mostly just banter coefficients. Let me out, please. Uh, I need to hit the button. Dude, can I tell you? This is a spoiler. Um, yeah, just uh, pick one and then fall asleep to it. Like like my average viewer. Son of a... Time to go back to Among Us. Um, I, I did this earlier today as Jacob and Esau and took no damage. I know you're not going to believe it. You'll believe it when you see it. And you'll be ashamed of your words and your deeds. Is, is one of the proudest accomplishments in, in gaming I've, I've ever achieved in my life. Nope. <laughs> see ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Wouldn't, wouldn't want to see ya either, to be honest, but definitely wouldn't want to be ya. Hello, Indy, by the way. I, I see you, Indy. Look, doing uh, research for your next video. 10 hottest babes in Isaac. No clickbait edition. Um, I sp he spawned on me. Look at that. No problem. 
Got him. <laughs> Number one, Mama Mega. For sure. For sure. Hmm. Okay, I gotta tell ya. Shoop the Whoop is pretty great. Guppy's head is nice, but Shoop the Whoop, I will not be persuaded. Can you do an Indie Mouse impression? Yeah, it's it, it's like this. 24 hour ban, permanent. You know what, what, what if there's a crawl space in there? The low odds, let's get out of here. <laughs> All right, we're still going. Still alive, Mausoleum One. Let me tell you, I, I need HP here. Excuse me, do not refer to uh, to Indie Mouse as an NL orbiter. Indie Mouse is, is well on his way to... Like, like many uh, content creators who have been inspired by me, Indie's well on his way to being uh, better at the, the YouTube game than I am. He got passed by, by Markiplier, um, Mercy, Small Ant, I think, for sure. Which is like, it's my whole long-term business model, is just to inspire enough content creators that strike it rich, that one day I could be like their little court jester. I could be like their worm tongue, or like the, the little weird rat that sit, sits next to Jabba the Hutt. Somebody launches like a new variety show, I can be like... <laughs> It's kind of like I, you know, I've been in the game too long. It's it's time for me to uh, to descend and and regress, but in almost a positive way, I think to uh, to sidekick. I think I think I, I'm I'm done being the main guy. I'd, I'd just make me a sidekick, man. That seems like that seems like where it's at. Or we could just start doing cameos, that's true. Yeah, I'm working on my exes strategy. Unfortunately, they, they kind of like got rid of MCNs on YouTube, so I can't just like, you know, start my own uh, quote-unquote business and then uh, take 10% of like everybody else's money on the platform for doing nothing. Uh, hold on, hold on. I meant for doing uh, something, an essential service. Uh, yoink. <laughs> I don't know what Sci-Fly does, but I do know that when it touches something, they die instantly, which is pretty sick. I've only seen episodes 1, 3, and 5 of Star Wars. How do I know Salacious Crumb's name and also the name of uh, Anakin's mom? Oh, you mean Shmi Skywalker? Excuse me? That, now that... That's a nerf too far, Edmund. When you get two blood banks, you can't play both of them at the same time. That's too far. That's, that's a malicious nerf. And a salacious crumb. Where's the line, Edmund? Where's the line? Well, that was my bad. You can do it with a shield? Yeah, for now. Until repentance five, the re-repentancing comes out. There we go. Whatever, man. I might, I might just eat the whole run here. Uh, that's, that's how I'm feeling right now. 
It's a handful. I mean, I do appreciate the money, but... Only one penny per hit, too? When, when is it going to be enough, Edmund? When is it going to be enough? I'm being mostly face facetious. <laughs> that one is, though, I'm like, hey, come on. We, we held on to that temperance card. That That's not like a situation where... You know, that was happening all the time, I think. That's, that's a pretty fringe case there. When will you learn that your actions have consequences? I appreciate the banter injections, by the way, Toasty. When was the last time you donated blood? So, it, look, I'm gonna pref... You got me. I'm gonna preface this by saying... It's donating blood is a good thing to do. The last time I donated blood was maybe like a month after I came back from Korea. And uh, I understand the reason for this, like why they feel like they need to ask the questions. <laughs> but... Uh, in order to give blood, it's normally like a, I don't know, maybe like an hour-long experience. This time, because I had the audacity to go live in like another first world country for a, for a year, um, they, they took me into a, a private office and then pulled out a binder and it had like maps of South Korea in it and they were like, did you ever like step foot in this part of the country? And I'm like, ah... I don't think so. Like, I, I mean, I took the train around on occasion, but uh, I don't think I... Uh, I don't know if I ever walked through, like, knee-high grass in, in Yonsan or whatever, right? Like... So it, it took, like, a long time. And just that was... Uh, was enough for, like, any time they harangued me from that point onwards, I was like... You know, I, I don't have that kind of time, quite frankly, back then. And then uh, secondarily, like when I moved to Vancouver, Kate doesn't, uh, like she has low iron, so she can't give blood. Uh, so, you know, we, we can't really make it a family thing. I'm not really trying to make excuses. I'm just saying, uh, you know, that's about it. <laughs> I think I'm... Like, I, I can't get to the chests. I can blow them up. But I can't get to them without stepping on the spikes. Oh, let's go. Well worth it. But I, I don't know. I've probably given blood... I bet, like, like... 20 times? From the age of, like, 16 to... to 24? I never minded it. I have, uh... Oh, I got the blanket. That's right. I've been so, like, lost in the banter sauce. I know this... Oh, jeez. This is, like, the ultimate, like, complaints. And this is more of a young man's complaint, for sure. The stars are calling. Okay. Says the stars are calling. Gave me a fool card. Because that makes sense. I um, think I made the right decision to keep HP here. I also forgot, by the way, that this is an HP up. So I am willing to take it. I thought that was TNT. Myosotis. I don't remember what you do, but let's do it. Um, I didn't. I also didn't like when I donated blood that like they made me sit there for 15 minutes. Admittedly, they gave you like a cookie. Don't get me wrong. But I, I, I didn't enjoy that. I was always like, I'm built different. Just let me go. I don't want to eat this cookie and like t watch everybody loves Raymond or whatever. I mean, for other people, I understand, but like, come on. It's 
stop uh, splitting. Yeah, plus they give you low tier snacks. I got to watch Seinfeld and eat candy. Bro, that's like... Maybe they're right about the Canadian medical system. I Wait, hold on. Have I been to the item room here? Because I, I, I don't know where I'm going anymore. I thought I did. Yes, no, yes, yes. No, no, maybe. You got Capricorn in it? I don't know. Some things, they're just not worth it, man. <laughs> no, I'll do it for the vaccine. For sure. I, if they, if, you know, I saw Apollo tweet, like, um, that he's driving two hours for the, for the vaccine. 100% I would, uh, I would do the same thing. I might even walk 500 miles, to be honest with you. Would I walk 500 more? No. That's that's too many. That's a thousand miles. What was I was what was I talking about? I was talking about donating blood. Oh yeah, they always got like they were look. Sometimes I I donated blood and I got cool uh, like they give you Oreos or something like that. Those were the days, man. But sometimes they only had like like mom's oatmeal cookies or something like that. And I was like, come on, just let me go, dude. You're going to make me watch half an episode of Yes, Dear and give me like a, a 30 cent cookie? Like, I'd, I'd rather just be home. Okay, so now I remember. Myostosis is... It gives you all the consumables you didn't pick up on this floor on the next floor. That's actually pretty sick. They're actually dad's oatmeal cookies. Can I tell you what happened in my head? I said, in my head, I thought they were dad's oatmeal cookies. Then I said mom's because I was like, dad's is a root beer. Like, do you ever have dad's root beer in the glass bottle? Facts. <laughs> that, was all, that was the only glass bottle soda when I was a kid. In the 30s, every soda was in a, a glass bottle. In 2010, they got, you know, Yaritos and stuff like that. They've got Mexican Coke. Back in the 90s, everything was plastic. And we liked it. Okay. I don't like these enemies. You gotta, you gotta hit them on the diagonal. I think now, this is about the time where we gotta get uh, serious. I should donate blood again, for sure. I know, this is like... I, it's the ultimate, like, first world problem. I have absolutely no, like, needle phobia or anything like that. I just wish they could make it faster. <laughs> Not like sucking the blood out, but the security protocols in advance. That's the only thing that, like... And it's very entitled, don't get me wrong. But when I go there and they're like, you know... They're like, hold on, we gotta give you this, like, 90 question survey so that, like... We know your blood is good, and then also we got to take you into a private room and ask you the same questions again and again to make sure that the, your blood is good. And then even after that, we're going to test it anyway. Like, I, I don't mind them testing it, obviously. You got to be safe, but like, I don't know if it's changed over the past eight or nine years, but it used to be like, it was like, I don't know, 15 minutes of getting your blood drawn and then like an hour to an hour and a half of like interstitial stuff. I get it, you want to be safe, and, and Canada had like a big, uh, you know, tainted blood scandal back in, I think like the late 80s or something like that, but... It does put a, a damper on it. Okay. One last item room.
Donnie is pretty messed up. I mean, I, I respect the blood service too. Like, uh, oh, you know what? I bet that makes a path. It's it's just science. Like, Kate got a couple of, of uh, blood bags as a speed upgrade right now. Okay. Kate got a couple of blood bags when uh, we were in the hospital after having the baby. So, like, we, you know, we've, we've used it as well. You're my Warzone good luck charm, NL. You never use annoying stereo sound. And I very rarely play Warzone. Un until recently, at least. Um, which means, like, isn't it... I, look, I'm not just a streamer. I'm also a stream viewer. There's nothing worse than, like, you want to play a game, but then the streamer is playing the same game, and sound is important, so you can't tell if the footsteps are in your game or in Justin's game. And you're like, oh, come on, man. Like, how, while I play Valorant, how about you play, like, something else? How about you play Getting Over It? Like, it's all about my entertainment, not yours. Chocolate milk. Now we're talking. That's me every time you play King of Retail. You know, I, I didn't even think about that, but it, oh, it makes perfect sense. You, you'll be, like, getting PTSD for my games. Spare two seconds. Or mine, Minecraft was bad, too, yeah. Deep down in the mines, watching Mouth stream, and, and then, you know, you hear, like, creepers and stuff like that. Oh, come on, man. Don't make me do this to not get hit and lose my bone heart. He's done it. Um... You'll be down in the mines, and you'll hear, like, and you're like, oh, come on. Then you realize it wasn't, uh, it wasn't on your screen at all. It was on Mouth's screen. That's why I think that if you're a good streamer, you should be responsive to uh, chat feedback. So if someone in chat's like, hey, could you please change games? Because, like, I'm playing this game. I, I will never remember, and by never, I mean this week. Remember that you've got to not walk into mom anymore. My bone heart. We're, we're obviously taking the Polaroid. Be like, hey, I'm playing Isaac. Can you change games? I'll be like, sure. Let's play a game no one else is playing. <laughs> okay, uh, let's play Artifact. <laughs> I still don't understand what Sci-Fly is doing, but I, I do I do appreciate it. Wait a minute, hold on. Now I get a chance to look at it. Sci-Fly is breaking all the shots and then shooting homing shots at Mom's heart. For each shot that it breaks. Yo, that's pretty cool. So I can just stand still and not get hit. Oh my god, it might help us if we make it to the true final boss. It might help us not get hit by all those knife shots over and over. <laughs> There's a chance. Please don't try to bait me into agreeing with the Unabomber's manifesto. I I, I promise you we, we run in different Discord communities. I every Discord except for my own that I'm a part of, literally it has like two messages a day and it's usually like happy birthday. Don't compare us. We are not the same. Excuse me? Someone asked me if uh, the Industrial Revolution and its uh, consequences have been an absolute disaster for humanity. You think I didn't see that uh, uh, Netflix original series where Paul Bettany, also known as Vision, plays the Unabomber and... Uh, I forget, is it Joel? What's what? Macros, the Australian actor, you know, the one with no personality, you can never remember his name. You know, no, not Joel Edgerton, the other one that's ex exactly like Joel Edgerton. Sam Worthington! Sam Worthington, yes. Thank you, thank you. Eric Bana, excuse me, Eric Bana was amazing in The Hulk. And then secondarily, also amazing, in uh, 
Season one of Ugly, uh, not Ugly Betty, Dirty John. This dude, two different media properties. Yeah, plus he's in Troy. Don't care. Did, didn't ask. Plus you're from Troy. Sam Worthington is British? Wrong. Oh, this is sick. <laughs> oh, that's gonna pay for a lot of shops in the future. Dirty John married my aunt? Really? It's a pretty, uh, it's a pretty spicy podcast. Season one of the, the limited series. You know. Entertaining, but, uh, you know, I didn't think it was that good. Uh, season two, I was like, you know what? Christian Slater, Amanda Peet, they're, they're bringing the Amanda Heat in this one. Wait, wait don't hit me with ha-ha. Hit me with ha-ha-ha-ha. Very funny. What's the worst response to a joke that somebody could write in text that is like laughing? I'm going to I'm going to postulate a theory, okay? LOL, lol, lmao, lmao, all good. Ha? Huh? I actually take some pride in. If somebody says ha, huh? I'm like they probably did not laugh. But they think it's funny, but they don't want to let me know it's funny because it would like feed my ego. They're like embarrassed that they laughed or they thought it was amusing. If somebody says ha 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 with no spaces between each of the letters, I know that they did not find it funny, but they're just being polite. Like if you look at a, a chat log and it's just like every time you say something humorous, the other person replies, ha, 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 no space. Run. You do, you do not have compatible sense of humors. You always got to mix it up, right? You got to do like... Sometimes if somebody says two things that are meant to be funny but aren't that funny in a row... First one, I hit him with a ha ha ha. Secondly, then I hit him with like a, like an LOL. Then I go ha ha. And then I go, I see what you did there. There's like, there's a mix of them. What about ha ha? I don't know. It, like, those are the two worst without a doubt. Ha ha and ha ha ha, both pretty bad. Dude, why does little Brim take so long to charge now? F? Wait, the fly's doing amazing work. Can you just keep keep doing what you're doing, brother? Thank you. No, I'm saved. He's going too fast. What the heck is going on here? No, I'm doing good work. Don't punish me. I'm doing good work. <laughs> oh my God, we didn't get hit. Surprising. Um, so I'll tell you, we cannot take nine lives, but we can definitely try Lusty Blood. HP is, is extremely tight. But we definitely don't feel bad about Lusty Blood. And I'm just hoping that, like, the way that we possibly win this run is that Psy Fly blocks tons of shots on the corpse. That's, that's the game plan. Please be a fortune teller. Oh, baby, we got four luck. <laughs> We'd stack up absolutely everything. To just try to get as many spirit hearts as possible for the corpse fight. Yep. 
No, I don't even need crystal ball. Although it would be nice. Come on. Did you see they added Stonks meme guy to Fortnite named Diamond Hands? Uh, Toasty, I would refer you to yesterday's stream. We talked about this uh, many times. I'm a big fan of, uh, of Diamond Hands. It's not bad. The only problem is like... Fortnite is uh, is analytics poison. Not not for everybody, obviously. Like it's a popular game, but for 32 year old boomers who are not very good at it, it's tough. No, I had. There you go. I have not mentioned my um, my Yahoo News article yet. I did get an, uh, Yahoo News wrote an article about a viral clip I made, like, six weeks ago. Let's not take the Spirit Hearts yet. I shouldn't have even picked up the ones that we have. Uh, and, and the... Pop the Stars card right away. Don't take me to the boss. Um, the article was about the time that, like... I riffed on that idea that, like, how do bald people know when to stop washing their face? And then I went really close to the camera and, uh, like, made wrinkles on my forehead. And I was like, where the wrinkles stop, that's where your face ends and your head begins. Um, yeah, I don't know. They wrote an article about it. And the article is just hilarious. It's like, you know, noted witty streamer responds to a cheeky request from a troll. And then they, they mined, like, the chat and also, uh, like, the live stream fails thread of the clip for content. And they were, it, it was, they were gassing me up pretty good. They were like, you know, the comments that they chose were like, honestly, this is the most naturally funny guy on Twitch as far as I'm concerned. Ben, this guy's been entertaining me for 10 years and I don't think he's going to stop anytime soon. It's, uh, it's so good. Okay, like, we may actually win on this run. Like, we're getting a lot of... Uh, we're getting a lot of useful stuff here. Thank thanks, Yahoo. I really appreciate it. Written by Brian Laternit. <laughs> Winning! Yeah, Chibli's been pretty quiet since the Yahoo news dropped. Why are you playing the blood bank? I need all the help I can get, really. So, like, my hypothesis is, like, we can play this blood bank because we have the uh, the less than three right next to it. So the dream would be, you know, you get another blood bag, nice little speed plus HP upgrade. I, the the chat erupted in laughter and memeing. I did see that. I was I was laughing yesterday. What if they nerfed it? Well, then we it, it, winning is one thing, but it's actually better to have like, the ability to get mad with justification. So I we win either way, really. They really and and I actually think that this is like a uh, a positive change but it's gonna take some getting used to they really nerfed the incidence of uh tinted rocks huh like it's it's crazy i have decided to use one bomb he's so good No, you're just missing them? Haha. <laughs> Haha. <laughs> no, the creep. Do we know this? I'll take it. Shot speed up! Wait, he's bald? 
yet another streamer or yet another chatter noted in the stream. Questioning whether the streamer is actually bald is a recurring joke in his chat. Uh, it's that's top tier journalism. So knockout city is gonna happen at one. So that's thirty eight minutes from now. Um, which is an awkward timing for a, an Isaac episode, because this one will be done in the next, uh, I don't know, two hours or something like that. But we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I've got faith in us. It is the, the cross-play Beto weekend. So there actually is, or at least should be, a, a panel below the stream. You can click on that and and get yourself a little something something. Get get yourself involved in the in the crossplay beta. It's available this weekend. Dunk, dunk, dunk. So the utility of keeping the spirit hearts on the ground is that we'd rather lose red hearts if possible. I know we have two right now. That's that's a mistake. It's like BYOBB, right? Um, we can leave spirit hearts on the ground and then pick them all up right when we're about to fight the boss. Which allows you to have uh, as much HP as possible before the boss. This is not my first Rodeo. We, we've... You know, we, we've had the grind, uh, you know, some tough achievements in this game before. Comedic timing. These are a little tougher than, than even the usual, but... Just gotta do something like this. Yeah, not only one time, but two times. Alright, so this is what it all comes down to. This pill is pop in emergency uh, situations only. Not a not a huge deal. Uh, we have thirty six bombs before, and like we've put a lot into this run. Before we leave for the boss fight, we must search for the secret rooms. They could change everything. We must search for the second secret rooms. You're the second best bald Isaac player I know. That's actually like a pretty good compliment. Because, uh, oh, there's more spirit arts back there, yeah. Um, that's a pretty good compliment because Corey's really good. Corey is a, he's a good Isaac gamer. He knows what he's doing. Booster pack. Actually very tempting. I think we got a look at least. Yo, mysterious liquid undefeated. Actual like like S tier item. Now that hurts. It dude, I'm gonna lose so much HP on this room. Those 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 cards better be worth it. Like, I don't even know how to fight these guys, man. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you, Sci-Fly. It's not possible. Okay, Lovers is a great card, though. Strength, two of clubs. Two of hearts. Okay, two of diamonds you just pop. Two of hearts, strength, lovers. We can only take one in. Two of hearts is statistically better than strength. They're lovers here. We'll try the pill. It's it's bad, but it, I don't think it's at the point where it like really compromises the the game. Damage is not going to be like our sore spot here. It's it's definitely going to be uh, it's definitely going to be HP. Strength for the damage, highly highly false. Meet me in Pleasant Park. I just want to talk. I don't even know what this does, but you know what? Okay, occasional poison shot or bad breath or something? I don't know. 
Okay, let's do it. Okay, we're, we're tap shooting. We're living a tap shoot existence. Sci fly, you're actually a god. Okay, sci fly is incredible. <laughs> I don't disagree, it's actually cracked. Now I'm hoping Mysterious Liquid does- Ooh, I forgot about that part. Uh, I'm hoping Mysterious Liquid does my uh, dirty work for me here. That's fair. Keep it going. Yo, Sci-Fly is, is feasting, dude. Bad. Yeah, you gotta you gotta learn to move there. Yo, if you keep cycling, it's a lot harder to get hit on that, huh? I didn't know. I just tried to like watch the shots as they came in. He's learning. Oh, we're definitely gonna win. This is exciting, especially after that terrible play earlier. What was it? The mirror play? Yeah, this one I just it, it can't be dodged. We'll worry about that one in, in 70 years. Come on, you gotta be dead, dude. Like, it, it can't be dodged. He's done, he's done. Okay, that was tough, but... <laughs> Look at that. Who would have thought? First run of the day, no big deal. It was a 90 minutes long, basically. Uh, but we did unlock Akeldama, whatever the heck that means. Thank you, SciFly, uh, for the support. Slash marker, end of repentance 